and welcome back to my channel so I'm back with another video for you guys and this is the look that I'm doing you guys if you're on the go you're in a rush you don't have time to do anything you know too crazy but you still want to look glamorous you still want to look good you can do this look it's really really easy to achieve I promise you if I was not filming this look it would probably take me 10 to 15 minutes to come okay so I'm gonna show you guys how I got this look so for this video I teamed up with Annabelle Cosmetics they are a Canadian based brand um, I will link their website in the description bar down below and so Annabelle Cosmetics is the very first makeup product I've ever purchased so I'm always super excited and honored to be doing a video with them today so yeah if you want to see how I got this look then please continue to watch Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and apply some foundation all over my face. Then I'm going to go in with my damp beauty blender sponge just to blend that in. Now, you guys, I do have a foundation and highlight contour video that is more detailed. I'm pretty much doing the same exact thing. So I'm kind of speeding up this process just a little bit. So now I'm going to go ahead and do some highlighting. You want to use a concealer that is about a shade or two lighter than your skin tone. And I'm just going to apply that under my eyes. It's going to help to hide my little eye bags. Trust me, I have them. And I'm going to put that down my nose and the center of my forehead as well. Moving on, I'm going to take the Annabelle Biggie Bronzer. Actually, before I apply my bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and set my makeup with powder. So I'm just using powder to set and lock everything into place. I don't bake anymore, you guys. I have a video and I explained that to you guys in that video. Going back to the Annabelle Biggie Bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and warm up my skin with that. I use the MAC 134 brush and I just apply this along my cheekbones, along the forehead area, just to make my skin look nice and bronzy. So now I'm going to take the Annabelle Perfect Cream Blush, you guys. Yes, a cream blush. Today I'm using a cream blush. And sometimes it can be a little scary to use cream blushes, but I find that when you apply a lot of powder onto your skin and then apply the cream blush, that's when it can look a little bit crazy and messy and might come off a little bit uh, patchy and cakey. So I didn't apply a lot of powder onto my face to set my makeup. So now I'm going to go in with the cream blush and I just apply a little with my finger. And then I go in with a dual fiber brush because I just feel like the brush makes it so much easier for me to blend the cream blush product. And then I go in with my beauty blender sponge. And you guys already know I love to glow. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Annabelle Perfect Cream Highlight Illuminating Cream. And this is going to give me more of a softer, more natural glow. And I'm just going to apply that on the tip of my fingers and apply that onto the highest point of my cheekbones. And I'm also going to run that down my nose as well just to give me a nice little highlighted nose as well. Now I'm going to go in with Annabelle Eye Primer in beige and I'm just going to place this all over the eyelid. This will ensure that our shadows don't move and they don't budge and everything gets locked into place. You guys, this look is super, super easy to achieve. So I'm going to take the Annabelle Skinny Palette and I'm going to grab the darkest shade in the palette, which is like a dark brown shade. And then I'm going to grab a angled brush. So I'm going to use that to create a, a wing liner using eyeshadow instead of using, you know, gel or liquid. And I really like this look because it's super soft and I think it's like sometimes I want to go for more of a softer look during the daytime. I just love the way it looks on my eyes. Now I'm going to go in with the Annabelle Liquid Eyeliner. So I'm not creating a wing liner with this. I'm just going to apply this at the lash line. So I just want to apply it at the lash line and it's just going to help to hide my lash strip a little better when I apply my falsies. You guys, I absolutely love this mascara. So this is a skinny mascara. Like look how tiny that wand is. It is perfect if you have teeny tiny little lashes like myself. My lashes are really small. So this really gets into my lashes. And this is amazing for your bottom lashes as well. So I'm just gonna apply this onto my lashes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply some false lashes as well. The false lashes that I'm using, I believe they are from House of Lashes. I'll put everything in the description bar down below. So here's something that I love doing, you guys. I love using bronzers into my crease. So I'm going to go back into the Annabelle Biggie Bronzer and I'm just going to place that into my crease and just blend back and forth just to give myself a little bit more of a defined crease. And I'm going to go back into the Annabelle Perfect Cream Highlight and I'm just going to place that at the inner corner of my eyes just to give it a really nice highlighted look. 
I've already completed my brow off camera, but I'm going to complete my brows using the Annabelle Brow Fiber Gel. And basically, it's just a brow gel and it adds a little tiny bit of fiber to the brows. So it makes your brows look a little thicker and fuller. Going back into the skinny palette, I'm going to take that same dark brown shade that we used on the top lash line. I'm also going to place it at the bottom lash line using a definer brush. You guys, I love the Annabelle eyeliners. They are freaking amazing. They go on super, super smooth. And I'm using a black coal eyeliner. It's really pigmented and I'm going to use this to line my waterline. And of course, I'm going to add some mascara to my itty bitty teeny tiny little bottom lashes and give them a little bit of life. Moving on to the lips. So first I'm going to go in with the Annabelle Big Show Gel. So I love these lip pencils because you can actually use them as a lipstick as well. They're creamy. They feel really creamy. You know how some lip pencils, they just feel really, really dry. Well, these are very creamy. So you can apply it all over your lips and you'll be fine. The shade that I'm using is in the shade Red is Love. So I'm just going to apply this all over my lips. With this look, you guys, you can pretty much do whatever lip color you want to do. Like, it just works with everything. So this is the completed look with the red lips. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Now I'm going to go in with the Annabelle Big Show Gel in the shade Meet Rosie. And I'm going to apply this on my lips. So I'm just lining my lips with this. And to complete the lips, I'm going to use gloss. So I'm using the Annabelle Big Show in the shade Breathe. This is such a gorgeous, gorgeous lip gloss, you guys. I love that metallic look, and I think it's really, really gorgeous. You guys know I love my nudes, so this is just perfect. But you guys comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you like the red lips better or you like the nude lips. But yeah, this is the completed look. I really, really hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you do. Comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see next. So I'll see you guys in another video very, very soon. I love you guys. Bye!